パマナタンパンパンパンパンパマナタンパンパナ That's right, folks. We have achieved 5,000 subscribers. A big thank you to all the loyal viewers in the audience and to all of you new viewers as well as I celebrate achieving the 5,000 subscriber mark. When I started this channel a couple years ago, I did it for the same reasons why I'm still doing it now. I did it because I was looking for something to help me share a hobby that I had been passionate about for a little ways. And、uh, I'm still excited to do that now. But I never imagined that I would ever have this many people tuning into the channel. And、uh, another big milestone that's coming up as well is that I have,、uh, I'm approaching 1 million subscribers on the channel. Now, this video is probably going to be a little bit different from what you might be expecting because usually on the channel, what I would do at this point is. I would review like a major pencil that I had been thinking about reviewing for a long time. I think for my 4,000 subscriber video, I reviewed the Spoke 4 mechanical pencil, which is, of course,、uh, right up there in my top 10. And、um, I did have a plan for this video to do a review of a major pencil that many of you had been requested for quite some time. But honestly, I ran into a little bit of a snag as I was prepping this video. So we rolled over 5,000 subscribers a couple days ago.、Uh, it was kind of bad timing for me in terms of、uh, making a video and posting it.、Um, but、uh, for a couple days, I was doing some testing on the pencil that I was going to review. And I had had some troubles with it before, and the troubles continued. And ultimately, I decided that it wasn't fair for me to review yet at this stage.、And In fact, I'm actually sending it back to the manufacturer so that they can take a look at it. And so I'm going to keep you updated on that. It is definitely worth sharing, and I want to be absolutely fair when I share it. And that's why I'm not bringing it to you today. And so I've kind of been racking my brain over the last 24 hours of what I could do as a substitute. And I, I'm going to go ahead and go with a partial of a common suggestion that people have been leveling on the channel for some time now, which is to do an updated. Collections video. Now, I don't want to do the whole collection because honestly, there's a lot of stuff in the collection that I'm not keen on right now. And so I thought that a good compromise would be doing a collection video that is just my favorite stuff. I think that that's something that would be good for me to showcase here for 5,000 subscribers to sort of celebrate how far the channel has come. And、uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do here today. I have basically the Most beloved pencils that I have in my collection. And so, what I've done is I've gone through the collection. I've really pulled and organized only my best of my best. There might be a couple things here that I'm missing that I really like. And so, if you don't see a, penal, a pencil that you think should be on this list,、um, you know, go ahead and, and mention that in the comments. And if you see a pencil on this list that you disagree with, that's fine as well. Folks, we're sharing our personal opinions here. It's okay for us to disagree on these things. The point is, is that we're all passionate about writing utensils or, <coughs> excuse me, EDC or Or fountain pens or stationery, whatever it is that you come to the channel for,、um, we're all passionate about something, and I think that's awesome. In fact, I'm not going to showcase just、um, mechanical pencils here. I'm also going to showcase some of my best of other stuff that I really like.、Uh, and so let's go ahead and get it started by showing what I think to be the Cream of the crop of my collection,、uh, the part of the collection that I intend to continue to grow. And that's also why I'm showing this right now because I want to sort of talk a little bit about how I intend to glow,、uh, grow this. So, this is the bulk of my Pentel collection right now in front of you. And specifically, this section of the case is all Pentel Sharps. And, you know, Pentel Sharp holds a special. Place in my heart. It's not necessarily the best mechanical pencil in the world, but gosh, it's a workhorse. And I use this pencil more on a daily basis, more than any other pencil, because this is the pencil that allows me to、uh, really get most out of the limited edition color schemes that the folks at Pentel have been uh, doing, uh, working on、uh, over the years. And so we have some classic Pentels over here, some of the Target pastels, a couple of custom wooden Pentel mechanical. Pencils、um, that have in inspired so many people. And when I talk about spoke mechanical pencils, Pentel Sharp has, has、uh, influenced 
the manufacturer of Spoke, Brian Conti, quite a bit as well. I have some of the Vintage Series pencils, uh, one of the Karari pencils. I want to keep collecting these. The Carbon Black model is a really interesting one that has this gray and black modeled pattern. I really like the look of it. We have uh, bright green and red pencils that were sold at uh, Office Max or Office Depot uh, for a limited time. Um, and actually, I think maybe I had snagged these on eBay, but that's where their origin was. We have some of the pastel series of Pentel Sharps that came out. Um, metallic purple. There's really quite a few of the Metallic Series limited editions Pentel pencils that I want to keep collecting. I have a full set of the Pentel uh, Sharp for Clio, uh, for Kleena, I should say. And to be fair, it's not really a full set in that all of these pencils come in 0.3 or 0.5. And I think I have uh, blue and brown in uh, 0.5 and uh, pink and white in 0.3. And so I just decided to diversify with that. Probably these marble Pentel Sharp pencils are my favorite pencils uh, from the Pentel Sharp series. I just really love the look of these. Uh, black and silver, several different shades of golds, and then as part of the Gilded series right here, I have uh, bright red and gold and black and gold, and there are definitely some more Pentel Sharp pencils that I want to collect from the Gilded series. I think I, for sure I want to get um, purple and gold, I think would be a nice color combination. I haven't collected as many of these, largely because from a wardrobe perspective, I'm more of a silver belt buckle sort of guy, and when you have like a gold accent pencil with a silver belt buckle, it kind of clashes and so that's part of the reason why I haven't collected as many of those um, but I want to collect them just to have them be part of the collection and so on the next part of this folio I have my other Pentel pencils and so here are my Pentel Sharp Carries. I have three of them. I, of course, want to, over time, collect as much of the full set as possible. My Pentel Technica X, which I really appreciate is like a vintage model. Uh, several of my vintage uh, Pentel Quicker Clickers, which I should have one more coming in the mail from Pentel that is the smoke vari variant. And so uh, shout, out, shout out to Pencil Utensil, who uh, had let me know that some of those had uh, gone up on the website recently. Of course, they sold out almost immediately. Um, we have the Pentel Graflet. Um, PG509, I have it in 0.9 millimeter. I like to diversify the lead sizes that I have for uh, my um, uh, for my uh, drafting pencils. Uh, one of the Pentel pencils that I really like a lot is the Pentel S55, uh, sort of this classic 1960s styling with the stainless steel up here and the plastic grip. I've just really enjoyed using this pencil. Uh, we have a Graph 1000 for Pro. Mine particularly is in the Gold series, and unfortunately, you know what, I'm going to bring this up to the camera because we all have battle scars with our pencils, and so my particular battle scar, I don't know if this is going to show up on camera very well, um, but one of my dogs got a hold of this one, and so I have bite marks on it, but, you know, that's how I know that it's mine. Um, uh, Pentel Energize uh, Multi-Pen. Couple of Graph Gear 1000s, not my favorite Pentel mechanical pencil in the world, but I know a lot of people are big fans of this. I have quite a Twist Erase collection that I'm continuing to work on. These are all my Twist Erase 3s. I have it in bright red and forest green, which forest green is my favorite color. Uh, lime green from Target, a uh, couple of different lead sizes in black. And um, Graph Gear 500. Uh, Pentel Icy, the original model that has a metal clutch. Pentel Graflet 2s, a couple of those. Um, one of my favorite Pentel mechanical pencil of all time is just the classic QE405, just generic twist erase. I think it's just a really amazing, simple, bare bones pencil, metal clutch, but all plastic body, super lightweight with that huge eraser, awesome Pentel mechanism. Uh, and so that's probably one of the biggest surprises for me that I like that uh, classic twist erase so much. Uh, a couple of Pentel Arends, including the Rubber Grip version. A Pentel Smash. I would like to collect more of these. This is a Pentel Twist Erase GT. 
Um, not one of my favorite Pentel mechanical pencils, but it's in uh, forest green, which is my favorite color, and so that's why it's part of the collection. And then a couple of Graph Gear 800s. I have it in uh, blue and in yellow in the classic point nine millimeter. And so that's the best of the best of my Pentel collection. And I think for a little bit of a change of pace, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close my Pentel case here and move it to the side. This would be a good opportunity for me to showcase my spoke mechanical pencils. Um, Spoke Mechanical Pencils by Brian Conti were modeled after the mechanism of the Pentel Sharp. And so when I take these, this Spoke 5 out of its dock, it, it has the exact same lead cone and sleeve as a Pentel Sharp, including the internals. Uh, this one, very lightweight. Um, I've really enjoyed using the Spoke 5, and I highly recommend it to people. And then in terms of my Spoke 4s, which I really like due to the customization, I have a Spoke 4 with a aluminum... Uh, grip here in black and red, which are my school colors, and this one is 0.9 millimeter. And then I have a spoke mechanical pencil with a titanium grip, which I really like um, the sturdiness of this. It's a little bit heavier than the aluminum, but if I'm really looking for 0.5 millimeter lead with a more heavy hand, I would I would go for my blue uh, spoke mechanical pencil. And this was a spoke four, and this was a gift from Brian Conti uh, for. Uh, for you know just supporting him on the channel and so i really ap appreciate that as well uh change of pace spiral notebooks what yeah amongst my favorites here i'm really going to highlight two spiral notebooks that are my favorites you know what let's just go with three because one of these has really surprised me and so here we have the um maraman um, N246 in 5mm square, and I, I don't think I'm going to open any of these up because they might have notes that I don't want to show on sc screen because they could be uh, school notes and i got to respect privacy of students. But um, the Maraman graph paper notebooks are uh, really important to me. Um, Rhodia Ice series. Uh, so I'm a huge fan of Rhodia products. Um, this particular Rhodia notebook is also in graph paper. I always try to get my notebooks in graph paper. And uh, so Rhodia Ice uh, on the Rhodia line has been great for me. And then um, an Italian notebook that I found in a Blick Art Store near my home, this Fabriano uh, notebook. Um, with this orange color also is gridded on the inside has also been an example of a notebook that I've really appreciated. And so in terms of my favorite notebooks, I have a lot of journals. I have a lot of notebooks. I have a lot of pads of paper that I record notes on, but these three notebooks are probably my favorites out of all the notebooks. All right, you came here for mechanical pencils, right? And so let's get some of the real gems of my collection in here. So this is a Pelican mechanical pencil. Specifically, we have the Pelican D200 mechanical pencil. I just love the look of this with green being my favorite color. This is just an, an, an awesome uh, purchase. I believe I got this one off of Penn Chalet and this uh, on eBay, and this was a really um, heartwarming story. Uh, and uh, so this is just a really meaningful pencil for me. It's, you know, not the best mechanism in the world, but it has the look and feel of a luxury pencil. And so I'm really glad that it's part of my collection. Um, speaking of more on the luxury side, I have a series of pencil here from uh, Retro 51. The first would be my Farney's exclusive uh, signature series. I bought this in Washington, D.C. when I was at Farney's Pens, and this one has all the signers of the Declaration of Independence on it, uh, and it's a twist mechanism mechanical pencil. Uh, this has a lot of meaning to me because D.C. is one of my favorite cities here in the United States. I love traveling there whenever I can get there, and this is just a really classy looking like uh, brass or bronze finish mechanical pencil. It is an exclusive for Farney's, and so it may be difficult to see on the video, but it says Farney's on the end here, and then the unique number, it says Retro 1951, and then somewhere on here it has the um, the the unique number for it. Um, I think it may just be on the case, actually, um, for the limited edition. Uh, another Farney's pen that I picked up while I was in D.C. was the Cherry Blossom pencil. And uh, this is the, I believe, the 2017 Cherry Blossom Pencil. Um, 
Retro 51 does not put out a lot of green pens and pencils, I've noticed. And so when I saw this olive green highlighting the U.S. Botanical Garden uh, on the pencil and uh, the cherry blossoms from, of course, the Significant Festival, this is another Farney's exclusive, so it says Farney's on it. Um, since Farney's is located in D.C., they have these exclusive uh, pencils that you can only get at the shop or order online. I mean, they do sell them online. Um and then this is a recently produced uh, Retro 51 Tornado pencil that I just purchased. I sort of felt obligated to purchase it. It's called the Dimitri, and every year in my science class, I dress up as the Russian chemist Dimitri Mendeleev to help my students learn about the periodic table of the elements. I mean, I'm just kidding. I don't dress up as him. He just appears from, from times past. Uh, and so this periodic table pencil, which has been updated to the most uh, recent additions of elements to the periodic table, uh, is a great addition to my collection, and I'm happy to share that with all of you here. And so those are some of the uh, uh, more luxury pencils that I have in my collection, and I, of course, will continue to uh, very closely check out uh, Retro 51 as they continue to put out great products. Um, this is my favorite click eraser. This is the, I, I never thought that I would say that my pa a Papermate product is one of my favorite products, but this is the product that they make that I really like. This is the Papermate Tough Stuff Eraser Stick. It's basically just a click eraser that is made of a, of a little better compound, I think, than Pentel click erasers. No offense to the Pentel folks, but... I like this eraser because it's a nice balance of cost and just like a workhorse eraser where it does a great job of erasing things and it's compact and it's easy to grip. And so this Papermate Tough Stuff Eraser Stick is probably my favorites out of all my eraser sticks that I have. Let's get back to some more pencils, shall we? Okay, here's another cream of the crop case. Uh, I took this as sort of an opportunity to reorganize some stuff and, and put some of my best pencils into the best cases. And so this case has uh, some of uh, my most favorite pencils in the world. Um, I have Platinum pencils over here on the left. I'm a huge fan of Platinum as a brand. In fact, I really like Platinum's fountain pens, and so I'll just go ahead and show you my Platinum balance in... Uh, for a screen with gold accents. I've been grading a lot with this pen. I use uh, Harmonious Green Ink uh, from Waterman in this pen, and I really like it. Um, so we have Platinum Pro Use 171. I have two of them. I plan to collect the entire series as I continue to get funds to put into pencils. Um, Platinum Pro Use 1 lightweight aluminum pencil. I have all of my major rote ring pencils. I have my rote ring 800. I have my rote ring 600. I have my rote ring rapid pro. You know what? I don't have a rote ring 600 in silver. And that's something that I probably need to change at this stage. So that's going to be one of our, one of my goals moving forward. Um, rote ring 600 Newton in silver. Okay. So I do have a silver rote ring 600. It's just a Newton series. Parker Jotter, Pilot S20, Oto Super Pro Mecca, which I ended up and still like way more than I thought I would because I'm not a huge fan of Oto pencils. And then um, Tombow Monograph uh, Zero is in the top 10 and Retro 51 Hexamatic. So there's some more of the luxury pencils that I have in my collection that I really like. And then here we are, last case. Okay, I don't, I didn't want this video to be too long, but at the same time, we got to celebrate those five thousand subs, and we got a million views coming up, which I just think is amazing. Um, so here are some just miscellaneous pencils that I have in my collection that I really appreciate. From left to right, we have the Unicuratoga Roulette, a uh, very nice Unicuratoga pencil, the Tool Mechanical pencil, the Kokuyo in Pizzo Sharp, which I plan to collect in more colors because it's an economy pencil. I think it's one of the best of the best. Then I have um, my Koinor Mephisto Mechanical pencil, a couple of uh, Platinum these, this should have been grouped with the other Platinum pencils, but these are Platinum Zero Shin Mechanical Pencils. My favorite multi-pen of all time is the Uni Jetstream 4-in-1, because you get the four different color inks. I really like the Jetstream ink in terms of a ballpoint ink. Um, it's more of an emulsion, actually. It's kind of like part way between a gel and a ballpoint, and I just like the smoothness in which it writes, but it also um, does not run out as easily, as easily as a gel, and it has a little mechanical pencil 
with it as well. And so I really like the grip of this uh, Uni Jetstream 4-in-1 as well. Moving along, some of them that are more loose here. Um, in terms of my vintage pencils, this is my favorite one, this Pioneer brand Seeds. Um, I'm in Omaha, Nebraska, and so when you go to uh, flea markets in the area. A lot of what you see in terms of the uh, mechanical pencils is all agriculture themed, but this is one of the best quality. It's like mint condition, older Schaefer mechanical pencils uh, that I have, and um, the eraser has been in better condition. I think it's been uh, crapping out here that I've had it uh, down in the recreation space down in the basement, but this is my favorite out of my vintage mechanical pencils here, and I'm always looking at around estate sta sales around Central Omaha, where Warren Buffett lives, to see if you can get some uh, good mechanical pencil deals. Um, a gift from a friend of mine is the uh, Hrebarkane uh, Magno uh, mechanical pencil. Um, and I find myself using this periodically. But for this video, I thought I would bring out a pencil that I haven't used in a while, and that is the Lamy Scribble. And you can see that I sharpened my Lamy Scribble 5 millimeter into a knife point here. And I used this pencil to shade my 5,000 subscriber sign. And so this is where that dark line came from, from a lead holder mechanical pencil. And I hadn't used my Lamy Scribble in a while. It's made out of fiberglass, and I find myself really appreciating it. And so I wanted to throw that in there as well. We have the Skillcraft B3 Aviator Multi-Pen, also a huge fan, fan of this Multi-Pen. The Twisby Precision and the Twisby P Pagoda. I think the T Twisby makes fine products. They're not the best products to me, but they're really good products and I recommend them to people. I have a Dr. Grip, Pilot Dr. Grip in 0.9 millimeter. I really like using this one with the bright red. And then I have a Alvin Draftmatic, which many people ask about on the channel, but I don't always talk about it. And so here it is. Here's my 0.5 millimeter Alvin Draftmatic. All right. Last section right here. All of my favorite Castell mechanical pencils. Um, Sorry, Faber Castell. I should pronounce the German appropriately, especially since Jet Pens just came out with a pronunciation guide. Um, I've been sort of going away from German pronunciations because I kind of felt like people had been harassing me on the channel about my pronunciation about things. But, um, you know, I think that I should probably feel confident about the, those German pronunciations. And so, um, Faber, -Cast uh, Faber Castell Grip 1345. Um, and. Uh, just going to turn off one of the light here because we're getting some serious bleaching in the frame. Um, Faber-Castell uh, Executive, the Vario L, which I recently reviewed on the channel. And then I have some Staedtler mechanical pencils, the Tri Plus Micro, which I really like is an economy mechanical pencil. Oop, another uh, Faber-Castell, the Faber-Castell Grip uh, 2011 is this bumpy purple one right here. I may end up collecting more of these because I like to have a variety of different colors, and this is a really solid pencil, the uh, Faber-Castell Grip 2011. Um, within the uh, Stettler 925 line, I really like the new 92515, so I'm including it here. I have a 9252503. I have a 9253509, the Midnight Blue, and then I have... Uh, one of the crown jewels of my collection, uh, a Staedtler. Um, this is a limited edition series, which I think was produced by a bromeliad society in Japan. I had seen it um, in a forest green with gold accents, which I've already mentioned in the video that forest green is my favorite color. Finally, one that I haven't mentioned on the channel in a while is the uh, uh, Tombow, um, uh, Tombow 505 SH which I think is a really good pencil for people to check out if, if you're looking for something that looks a little bit classier. And uh, like the Pentel uh, Sharp Carry allows you to have a capped mechanical pencil design. And so if you're looking in for something that's like the Pentel Sharp Carry, but maybe a bit beefier, the uh, Tombow um, 505SH would be a good pencil for you to look into. And so, folks, thanks again for celebrating 5,000 subscribers for me. I'm going to uh, keep uh, making mechanical pencil videos, and I do have a very special pencil that once I get it back from the manufacturer, all repaired and ready to go, I'm going to be happy to share that with you. And so, uh, thanks so much for watching, and there's going to be some awesome mechanical pencil stuff happening in the future. Bye-bye.